What's up guys, Stark here. In today's video, we are taking a look at the Moonlight Fest or Moon Fest or whatever it's actually called event. Uh, now what I did, unlike the Nero Fest, what I I did that the first playthrough and I recorded it. For this one, it works a little bit differently and I didn't want to make like an hour long video. Uh, so essentially there are quests that would have been the, above the 5 AP one and it's like a story. So you do the one quest and then you have to collect some dumplings and then it unlocks the next quest and then you just keep doing that until you get to 200 dumplings, uh, the gold ones, and that'll unlock the final quest and then each time you beat one of the episodes of the story you unlock another one of these uh, free quests to farm. So it's a pretty solid event, you can take a look at the shop here, uh, you can have the craft essences, uh, basically. You're gonna need a lot of dumplings for all this stuff. You can get the stat up, you can get the EXP items, you can get archer monuments, rider monuments, assassin monuments, and then the pieces as well. So uh, it's pretty solid here. Um, what I'm gonna do in this video is, um, I'm not actually doing 40 stamina because in my opinion, it's not worth it. Uh, it's, it is pretty difficult. But the upside is not worth what you get. You get, you're pro I don't know, I did it once. I got 30 something uh, dumplings. And you could do the 5 AP and get like 3, 4, 5, 6, you know, depending on the drops. You can get a lot of dumplings just with the 5 AP. So it's generally better to farm the 5 AP as opposed to the 40. Um, definitely do the 40 once. So you get the crystallized lore and if you guys do want me to make a video for it Then I will make a separate video for the 40 AP But I don't feel like it's worth mentioning because it's not something I'm going to be farming. It's not something I recommend farming But you could farm the 30 AP because it drops demon hearts or whatever the devil hearts or whatever they are the hearts it drops the hearts and You definitely want those for your characters so Let's see Gotta find a good friend here. I guess we take. We'll take the. We'll take Jay here. Uh, but yeah, you wanna take a good archer friend. It makes it so much easier. Uh, you could basically take anyone with a strong AOE special. So I'm just gonna go through the 30 AP, and then I'll do a quick 5 AP run just to show you guys the drops. And like I said, if you guys do wanna see the 40 AP, just post in the comments. Let me know, and then if enough people want to then I will try and make a video for it later on in the event uh, sometime before it goes away because like I know maybe it might not be uh, something you want to farm but maybe people are struggling to beat it so I could do a video for that just to show you guys what to do but for this video I'm just explaining the actual event and my strategy for what I'm going to be doing to farm the um, the dumplings to get all the pieces and the monuments because if you guys did watch my previous video I did actually pull Orion so I do want to uh, max her up as quickly as possible and I do have Emia and Atalanta so I do have a bunch of archers that I want to max and this is the perfect event if you have archers riders or at one of assassins so definitely take advantage of that get all the pieces even if you don't have them you know farm you know save up for whenever you do have an archer or an assassin or a writer or whatever uh, so we're just about done here we need one more charge on our Gilgamesh which unfortunately has no attack cards this turn so we're gonna just go ahead and annihilate the berserker here and hopefully Gilgamesh has a card on the next turn where we can get his normal phantasm ready and just unleash that for the potential win Okay, he got hit, so we don't even need a card. We can just jump right into it. We're going to use Guts on Berserker here just to make sure he doesn't die. And let's see, we have plenty of cards. So we're just going to do this, this, and that. That should take out both of them. Well, it's not probably not a max special. I'm too used to using Deus as a friend. So I'm getting a little bit uh, greedy with how much damage this will probably do. Uh, but it should at least kill Caesar and put... Uh, Artora down to some 
things. Yeah, that's that's manageable. And then we'll just go ahead and kill her on the final turn here. Boom, boom, wait for gonna finish the job. So let's see how many drops we get from this. I will probably farm this until I get enough demon hearts. I think I need like 10 more demon hearts for all my characters that I need or that I'm focused on. So I'll keep doing this until I get that many demon hearts and then I'll jump over and do 5 AP because it really does seem like it is a lot better and you don't get that much EXP from the 30 AP anyway so it doesn't really seem that beneficial. So we got a pretty solid amount there. But remember, we're doing 30 AP as opposed to uh, 5 AP. So you're going to get 6 runs of 5 AP in the same amount of time. So you have to you know, keep that in mind when you're actually farming this. Oh, now Deus pops up. Um, anyway, we don't need him. We're just going to take, take any friend character you have that has a bonus. Uh, I, you know, Obviously, the 5-star ones are going to work a lot better, but we don't seem to have any. So we're just going to take the 4-star Craft Essence. And we're actually going to swap over our archer here because they are sabers so we want archer to do more damage and you should pretty much beat this in three or four turns it's really simple all right so let's just we don't even need our probably don't need our boss just go ahead and steamroll this it's 5 ap so it's not difficult and that's why it's so good to farm dump the dumplings for because you're going to beat it so fast and you can get six runs in for the same amount of AP as it would normally cost for one run of 30. Now, I mean, like I said, 30 AP is still good because you can get the demon hearts, but if you're just looking strictly for dumplings, then 5 AP is probably, you know, your best bet. Now this one you probably can't beat in one turn. Unless you like all your characters are fully ascended, but what's another? You know what? That was what four turns. I think you can deal with that. And there's like no chance you're gonna lose, even if you don't have like you don't need a powerful team. Like even if you're just a new player, you can just sit here and grind five AP and get all the dumplings you need. And they do have a chance of dropping the gold ones too, so you could definitely do this for like the story and things like that as well. So there we go, we, we didn't actually get any uh, regular dumplings, but like I said, you know, we would have to do this six more, or five more times after this, and then compare and see which one actually ended up being better. But like I said, if you're just farming for dumplings, 5 AP is actually really solid, as opposed to 30 AP, but 30 AP does give you the hearts, so I will probably be doing that. So yeah, that's going to wrap up this video here. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed it, and I'll see you guys next time.